Speaking of 155, we have Sergio Cosio making his Bellator debut. Plenty of experience against the undefeated Jesse Roberts, who's 1-0 in the Bellator MMA case. He is, and that was a big win. And he got 25-8-1 is just showing a ton more experience. Is at 6-0. Jesse Roberts able to get it done. Here's Michael C. Williams. Tonight here at Bellator 300, we'll move right now to the lightweight division. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing the blue corner at five foot nine, weighing in 155.8 pounds. His professional record undefeated. Six wins, no losses by way of Montgomery. He fights out of Alexandria, Louisiana. Jesse. And across the cage of adversary out of the red corner at five foot seven, weighing in 156 pounds even tonight in his Bellator debut, the veteran brings 25 victories, eight losses, one draw from Durango, Mexico, presenting Sadio Durango. charge of the action, your referee, Frank Trigg. Sergio Cosio looking to extend his blistering run of recent success, seven fight win streak. That has seen him amass six finishes along the way. Jesse Roberts returning to Bellator for the first time since he beat AJ Agazarm, the jiu-jitsu star in their respective pro debuts at Bellator 214 in January of 2019. Roberts now six and oh. Roberts is a very good technical fighter, good, clean stand-up. He throws straight shots. He's got an unbelievable ground game. Cosio, you're going to see, he is aggressive. He's a brawler. On the ground, he's got skill. I don't know if he wants to be on the ground with Jesse Roberts. Yeah, we were talking about this fight, John. You mentioned that for Cosio, it's really all about that brawling style and the stand-up loves to bring that uh, Mexican machismo to the game. Mexican heat. Level change by Roberts, takes the single and puts Cosio on the canvas. This is where Jesse Roberts is just outstanding. He's got great base, great ability to move from one position to the next. Yeah. And he does good ground and pound work. Solid ground game, especially from the top position, yes. John, as you mentioned, and looking to go to work here. He has two submission wins, both of them via rear naked choke, but now working from top position. Very nice with the shoulder pressure. You see him. Oh, it. what's and that lead to? He's got. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it. And being in half guard right now, he's in a beautiful position just to start to control the fight. He's a beautiful move right to mount. Look at that, Moro. That was just so cleanly done. Smooth. Now he can open up whenever he wants. Start to posture. Bring heavy shots down. Because he's got to get himself fighting out of, position. out of Montgomery, Louisiana, is Jesse Roberts representing Global Fitness Center with trainer Alan Gray. While Cosio, he fights out of extreme couture and has trained with Mads Burnell in the past. Mads Burnell coming off a huge win over the retiring Daniel Weichel. Too bad he ruined the moment on that interview with you, John. <laughs> oh, looking for the oh, here, triangle here. Now the triangle. He's off to the side. That is not good. For Cosio. We saw Josh Hokett earlier tonight in his professional he is in trouble. And now Jesse Roberts looking for his first arm triangle choke submission. Cosio in trouble. Beautiful work right here. He is working to get out of this. Nice job by Cosio. Oh, big escape. And this knowledgeable and passionate here crowd. Comes the rear choke, but though. here comes Roberts with his patented RNC. Cosio has been submitted on two different occasions. First time was via rear naked choke. The last time, though, was way back in 2017 via guillotine choke. And he's in trouble here against Jesse Roberts. And Jesse bringing both arms across, trying to figure out which one he wants to start to sink that choke in with. Kelsey are working to get out. 
Roberts making his pro debut here in Bellator back in 2019 as real Dawson. Five wins since, and that's, well, Calcio's resilient. Well, I tell you, and he was trying to get the leg wow. free while allowing himself to get choked. And you let him go, you can only do that so long. Jesse Roberts moves back to top position. So Cosio defending the submission attempts. Doing a great job in defending and putting up with a lot of discomfort, showing how tough he can be. Forced to expend a lot of energy in order to defend, but doing a good job of defending here against Jesse Roberts. Under a minute left in the round. Steps right over, right in the back. It's got the hook again. Beautiful you know, work by Jesse it, Roberts. It's Cosio's 35th professional fight, and you see that experience because it is beautiful work from Jesse Roberts. But Matt, credit to Cosio for, for getting out of these submission attempts by Roberts, yet in still a lot of trouble here with 20 seconds left in the round. And there's Cosio delivering some strikes from the bottom. Of course, doesn't have the leverage you would from top position. But he escapes the round, does Sergio Cosio after dealing with the ground capability of Jesse Roberts. Good round. And he was just there yes. at being submitted with that arm triangle. This round started really when you saw Jesse Roberts get this takedown and just continually put pressure on Cosio. And this one right here, this was close. He really was in trouble. You can take a look at his face. There's a ton of pressure, and he just guts his way through it. Right here is when he has got problems, but he's able to get himself towards his side, and that's what saves him in that submission attempt. Thank you. Big round for Jesse Ready. Roberts. Fight. Jesse Roberts, the blue tape on the gold with gloves. Sergio Cosio making his Bellator debut with the red tape around his gold gloves, and he comes forward looking to land the body kick. Now setting up Roberts. Roberts with a counter left. Lands on the face of Cosio, and if he has his druthers, Roberts, you know, would like to take it back to the canvas where he's one for one and almost finished the fight in the first round. He almost finished that fight. That was very close. They almost had the rear naked choke, but it wasn't as close as that arm triangle. But the real question is, can he get Cozio down in the same position and start doing so. the same work? Now he's there. Two for two in the takedown department for Jesse Roberts. Received some great instruction from Alan Gray, who's chief second there from Global Fitness Center, while Cozio was getting instructions from his trainer, Cesar Palomero Jimenez. Cozio, a BJJ blue belt. I'll tell you what, for a BJJ Blue, yeah, he was did a say. great job of surviving <laughs> that choke, because it, it was tight. And when you mentioned Blue Belt, John, for the uninitiated fighting for the first time, that's at the beginning of your stages of yeah, the you're, you're talking about you got white, was, blue, and then a, one step above colors. white. And yeah. it's, it's saying you're starting to learn the sure. techniques, and you, you have a good idea of positioning and where you need to be. But Speaking of positioning. A lot to go. And right now, this is where Jesse Roberts is doing so well. He's controlling the position. He's being heavy with the shoulder pressure, keeping Cosio where he wants him to be. Cosio's looking, he's looking for that. Uh, the elevator he's got, he's got the butterfly hook, but oh, slick. he just doesn't have the ability to work at the positioning that Jesse Roberts is able to move himself to. Coming up, we will see Leah McCourt, ranked number five at featherweight, take on the number two ranked Sarah McMahon. Leah McCourt, what a, a battle with uh, Katzingano. Talk about incredible reversals and scrambles. What a fight they put on. Of course, Zingano winning the fight and challenging Chris Cyborg tonight at Bellator 300 as part of the Gold Rush All Title Fights card. Meanwhile, Jesse Roberts continues to maintain dominant position on Sergio Cosio. And that was a beautiful attempt by Cosio to try to reverse the position. Roberts just shut it down, though. No. Again, here you go. Heavy shoulder pressure, controlling position, trying to figure out what he wants to do as far as do I want to try to go to mount? 
Crozio keeps on giving him the back. Very nice work by Jesse Roberts. And we talked about, John, what happened in his Bellator debut. Revisited that fight against A.J. Agazarm, who has incredible jiu-jitsu credentials and what Roberts was able to do in that fight. Yeah, great wrestling and jiu-jitsu uh, practitioner, A.J. Agazarm. But Roberts was able to actually be the better ground guy in that fight. When you look overall, you, know, you won a split decision. It was a close fight, but man, he proved himself, especially in his pro debut. And then he's gone on and won five more fights, six and oh, with one knockout and two submissions. Cosio back to his feet here in his Bellator debut with a minute and a half left in the second round. Cosio showing you exactly what those 30 plus fights have done for him. Unfortunately, he's wearing Roberts like a coat right now with the, the attack of Jesse Roberts who brings Cosio back. Cosio needs to be careful with that arm as far as he can get trapped. Yeah. He was trying to let go. And Cosio looking to this is where get young, that RNC. Can, a young fighter like Robertson. A young fighter like Robertson say, okay, let me slow this down and let me start to ground and pound. Let me start to make him pay for giving me a back. Win. I'm not gonna look so much for the submission, I'm gonna look more to make you pay. Cosio continues to deliver right hands to the face of Roberts. Roberts back into top position. 40 seconds left in the middle frame. Some elbows from the bottom, courtesy of Cosio. Cosio at least able to get him back to his full guard. Here he goes, back to try to at least bring up it towards the triangle. Looking for the arm bar. Cosio does have 12. He's got some uh, submission finishes. Of course, he's got a. He's well, both these guys. Very well rounded in many ways, but Cosio's experience, albeit at a lower level, now that he's come to Bellator facing a different level of fighter than Jesse Roberts. Yeah, absolutely. After two rounds, John, your unofficial scorecard, uh, I hazard to guess uh, it belongs to that man, Jesse Roberts. It belongs. I gave him the first round 10 8. He almost had him out of the fight. Multiple. Good submission attempts. It's one of those you take a look at. They dominated the positioning of the fight where it was at. And Cosio doing what he has to do, coming out, throwing leather. Cosio has to stop the takedown. Coach Gray told Jesse Roberts, I'd like to see a finish. And I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm sure Jesse Roberts would like to also. <laughs> but, but sometimes not easier. Oh, oh jumping matter. knee, and that was Cosio clocking Roberts, and Cosio striking, beginning to pay some dividends here in the final round. That was a nice oh, shot. Right Big hand right hand. hand for Cosio. Roberts now retreating on the back foot. This is what I, this is what I believe Cosio has to do. Turn this into the brawl. You're the better brawler. You're the guy that you'll throw from any any angle. All these things. You're tough. Put your stances and lands a straight left. Right down on the mouthpiece and get after it, but he, what he can't do is allow Roberts to get the take down. Knee and the left to the body, and Cosio now coming forward, ratcheting up the offense, knowing that he is behind the proverbial eight ball here at his Bellator MMA debut. Needing to secure the finish, according to Big John McCarthy's unofficial scorecard. Well, he's going after the body, though. But that Mexican style, let me let me attack the body and eat it up. It's hit some big shots. And there's a check left hook by Roberts, but then eats a left hand from Cozio. And a three-punch combination. Three picks and the soda from Cozio. <laughs> Roberts, Roberts is tired. Roberts is sucking some air right now. This is this is exactly what he needs. Get into the clinch, slow it down. Not popular with the, the fans, but definitely. For Roberts after Cosio's offense, definitely beginning to pay dividends. Now Roberts has his back, but Cosio staying in a vertical base for the moment. Trying to work those hands free. Fighting the hands. Yeah, Roberts trying to drag him to the canvas. Does so, puts in the hook. And looking for the rear naked choke. Roberts has two submission wins, all of them courtesy of the RNC. Last one came in November of last year. 
going to just keep on fighting that position. There you go. Good escape. Reversal by Kosio. On his feet, has to be careful of the up kick. Oh, misses with that right hand. Could have hurt his head as it crashed into the canvas. Now looking for the guillotine choke. And he's got multiple. Wouldn't that be poetic? Choke submissions. Roberts yet to taste defeat. Knee shield by Kosio employed and wide base by Roberts. But Kosio, man, he has escaped many submission attempts by Roberts. Will he be able to escape the Bellator MMA cage in his first fight in this arena with his winning streak intact? Good, nice, flexible guard. Nice work he's trying, but he, he got to set it up a little bit better, control that arm. Cosio right now in that position where he's just trying anything, just trying to make something happen. And Roberts is more in the position of, I'm just trying to slow this down. Let me just take and get my win. I know I'm up. Work, get to work. Oh, oh back on escape, slippery. Roberts finds himself on the bottom. Now elbow strikes from Cosio. He's got a minute 15 left. He could do it. The crowd here behind Cosio. There's a reversal by. Oh no, Roberts is in trouble here. Triangle choke attempt by Cosio. It's not there yet. Now it's locked in. A minute left in the oh, fight. Top side. No. Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Mixed martial arts serial Cosio with the come from behind submission victory against the submission specialist Jesse Roberts who had Cosio in trouble time and time again and instead Cosio makes a dramatic Bellator MMA debut eight wins in a row and maybe the most unforgettable submission win of his career simply put when you don't give up this is what you can do and Jesse Roberts, he's on top. He slips off because he's tired. Cosio goes after him, and he actually, I thought he was starting to make a mistake as he allowed Jesse Roberts to get this sweep coming over. But he just kept the leg where it was at, brought it over the top, looking for the triangle. Right here, it's not set, but he's got the arm in place where he wants it. Now he puts it there. Now it's across. He grabs, and he pulls that in tight. Now it's a tight triangle. Now Jesse Roberts being tired. He's in trouble. When you see him go over, you know that is not a good sign. What a win for Sergio Casio. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end officially. Four minutes, five seconds into round number three. The tap by way of a triangle choke for the winner by submission, Sergio Bravo. A late nomination for comeback of the year. Sergio Cosio picks up a victory in his Bellator MMA debut. And he improves to 26, 8, and 1.